Okay, hi. My name is Holly Quink. Um, and this is my midterm. You still can't see me, but you see her. Now I'm using my laptop to film. Anyways. Um, so I'm gonna mess with your face. I'm gonna mess you up. And I'm gonna do a thing on your hand, but I'm gonna do that in a different recording. Um, and it's not gonna be this. It's gonna be something else. So we're going to do a black eye, because I found a better way to do a black eye. Actually, at the makeup booth that we did on Halloween, um, we didn't really have everything that we possibly needed. Um, and then, I'm going to give you a cut on your lip, mm. and burn marks like these, on your cheek. Okay? So, we're going to start with the cut. Mm. There's three different ways that I saw you could do the cut which was latex, but that's too easy. Um, you could do silicone, but I don't have silicone. You could also do glue. There's a fourth way. You could do glue, but I'm not going to do, we don't have any glue, and I didn't buy any, because we don't need it. So, but then the third way is nose putty. So I'm going to use nose putty, and I'm not going to use a lot, which is why I'm doing a small cut on her lip, because I know we need it for the nose. I'm creating noses next time in class. By the time this she actually sees this, it'll be like, and we'll have already done it, but that's not the point. I'm using your tweezers, but I'm sorry. Because I don't have So, first that's of all, before I start, I'm going to sanitize Doesn't matter. I'm going to put um, oil in my hand so that the nose putty doesn't stick to me. Because apparently that works. Because nose putty is sticky. Okay. This one's good. It does smell good. Oh, it's vanilla. <laughs> is it? Yeah. Wait. No. It's no, just, I, 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 I saw the skin oil. It doesn't really. It doesn't say what flavor it is. It should. They should tell us why it's cool. Well, it says apricot and almond. Ooh, that's an interesting flavor. Okay. Well, yeah, those are ingredients. They're, they're so also, that's what I'm assuming is what smells like it. Okay. It's apricot and almond. Although I think that it's like still. I can't grip it though. She used it in the video. It was like easier that way. Maybe you didn't need so much oil. I barely put any. Okay. I'm gonna put it like a little bit, like this much. I'm gonna put it on her lip. Here. There we go. Now we're going to. Blend it with your skin. That's not your color. You're lighter than that. Let me see your wrist. Mm -hmm. That's the one. Maybe. <laughs> and we're going to That's what I wanted. I was gonna go buy clothes and stuff and like actually like tear them up and have you wear them, but then we're going to take something like these and we're going tweezers. to Well, it doesn't have to be tweezers. Okay. Continuing. I stopped for a second to fix it. So you can't see it, but I can move this semi closer. Use the needle instead. Your friend wants a part of this. There is a cat behind me right now. Let me left. Nope. Down. Go on. Thank you. Cats. Okay. Now I'm going to blend it. I had started over because it was being uncooperative. Got it. It's fine. <laughs> um, where's the other brush? I 
had lost this brush for like an hour and then I found it and it was in the kit. I was like, God damn it. Okay. So now I'm going to actually make her face look paler. Okay, okay. So now we're going to do the burn on her cheek. Um, Turich. Is. Okay, let me remember. So you need latex. Okay, so now that that's on, we're going to take, you can take toilet paper, cotton balls, tissue paper, whatever. I'm going to do toilet paper because it's just better. And you're going to put it on the latex area, like so. And then you're going to cut away the edges that aren't sticking to any latex. That's good. So now we're going to put another layer over this. Fix her makeup afterwards. I did the edges first so that they could stick down, and then you just want to fill in the rest. Okay, let it dry. Okay, now that the latex is dried, you're gonna take something sharp. Once again, actually, let me clean off these pages real fast. They have no study all of them. You can take tweezers or something sharp. I could use the needle again, but I need bigger holes. So you're gonna take it and you're going to tear it and it can be rough tear because you kind of want the skin to look a little like unnatural looking tear and you can do multiple in the area you can do big ones, you can do tiny ones. I'm trying to do bigger ones. I'm trying it with the needle. He's in the shop, by the way. That's okay. It's cute. There we go. So you can do multiple holes. I didn't do too many. So now what you're gonna do is we're going to fix up the makeup. Well, that'd be pointless if we did that. This part it gets a little hard because as you can see, this doesn't match my skin color, but that's not the point. Is that like the toilet paper is patterned? So when you put the makeup over it, <laughs> it's patterned. But it's okay because it also makes it look like the skin around it is also you want to cover the whole area with it to blend it in he's like peeking at the camera despite the lens come on I dare you to jump in there <laughs>
a little bit paler now, even more paler than she did before. So now we're gonna take the red again on our bruise wheel and we're gonna color in this, the holes red. Like so you can get a little bit of the outside. This actually looks better than my hand did because I did mine in a kind of like, I'm just testing it to see if I'm doing it right. Looks like she got a cut. Badass. <laughs> right on the chin. So now, what you want to do is I tried to do black as you can see there's like black around it um, but it seems it looks a little too, too dark damn cats damn cats yeah screw them <laughs> we got a squirt bottle so I'm gonna try to use the eye cream brown and maybe the eye black if I think it doesn't look good but you want to make it look like there's dirt around it or like the skin got burned Cause it's kind of like a, you know when you get rug burn or mm -hmm. road burn? That's what this is. Mm -hmm. So, okay, so like there's the, like, like asphalt or whatever on yeah, the Yeah, yeah. But the black looks too black, like it's too dark. We'll try the, we'll, we'll try the brown. The brown looks Do you want to try to get all the like the tear away skin? So some of the skin like on this one, turn that one on this one fell back. You want to get all that skin because it's like that skin got rubbed off, and when that skin get rubbed off, when it get rubbed off, as I said, very southern like, um, it gets dirty. Do another zoom in. There we go. And the brown does look better than the black. And what you can even do more is take a darker shade of this. It also makes kind of the edges go away. There we go. There we go. Another zoom. So it looks like she got dirt on her face as well. So now we're gonna do the black eye. And so what I discovered with the black eye is that q-tips work a lot better when blending and stuff so you're gonna on your q-tip on like one side I don't know, too much. one side red and then on the other purple right and then we're just gonna kind of like kind of like put it just around the eye i'll put some yellow in as well No, I like the skin burn too. Okay, so now that that's there, I kind of want to put yellow on so they'll be here and then on your cheekbone. So with the tiny brush again, wipe off the brown. Get off brown. Because the big brush already has too much red on it. We're going to take some yellow. And we're going to put it just slightly right here.
it's okay though. That's the point though. That's what the camera does. I mean, it's supposed to be camera makeup, so it doesn't matter how it looks in the real life. I'm on the camera. You do the same thing, kind of up in here. So you get your nose just a tad bit when you punch somebody. So that's what I'm going to do for this video. Uh, there will be two parts because I want to do the hand thing too, but this is all on the face. Let's have you turn. Turn. Beautiful. 